So we're out here in the brush, letting the trees and the logs and the rocks and the brush get this colt a little broker. Nothing helps with steering like having to get around some trees. Nothing makes them more careful of their feet than a pile of rocks like what we've got right here. And they're all through this woods. So we'll bend on through here. He's got to push through a little bit of brush. Oh, he's got something pretty tough there. Yep, that wasn't... Well, we find out how maneuverable he really is. Okay, so we hit a grapevine, and those things are as strong as cable. But that's how you find out what you're riding. A dumb one would have pushed through it, would have hung up on his hind leg. This, by the way, is an old high line. There was no lynchings here at any time. It's just where we take horses time away from the barn to get them over separation anxiety. So we're just sort of hacking around here. Here's some, here's a nice log back here. Gonna work our way over to it. So we got a pretty good step over here. See if he can do that. So he passed that little test. Another log up here. This one's all deteriorated and a little thicker. Over we go. And this is his second trip up through this obstacle course of sorts. And you can see that it, it introduces the real world into the training process. So you just sort of make a few loops around here. The funny thing is, the bad ones hate it and the nice ones like it. So you get to figure out what you're riding pretty, pretty quick. Big log, over we go. Back through the brush. Another log here. And we'll head back down the bank and ride off into the sunset. But that's letting the natural world help you train your horse. So we are heading down into the woods. We'll do this by voiceover because we really couldn't get our main equipment down in this area because it's pretty rough. Uh, heading down through the woods, we're going to go to the creek and try his first creek crossing. Our trail down here has had some blowdowns, so we're going to cut straight across country shortly. And we'll meet you down at the bottom. So we've worked our way down to the bottom of the hill. You can picture how steep and rough it was getting down here. I wish we'd, we had videoed that because he was real good. This is his first exposure to crossing a creek. And as you can see, better not to hesitate. Just head on down the bank and let him make up his mind down here whether he's going to cross the creek. And he's made the right decision so far. He didn't jump. He wasn't troubled. The biggest thing I want to say about teaching your horse to do this or really anything else is that it is so important that they are ready. He was ready to succeed. When I asked him the question, would you cross the creek? I had a pretty good idea the answer was going to be yes. I didn't get down here and wonder. Sometimes I get unpleasant surprises, but a lot of the time the horse will come through for you. Now we're going to circle back here, cut across this bank, give him a little bit of a challenge, drop back down. You really can't cross the creek here because that bank is even steeper than it looks on the video. We don't have a great creek for teaching young horses on our place, but this one does test them pretty well. It's a small creek, but it's got a bank going down. It's rocky, it's tight. You find out if you've got a nice one, and right now, I'm sort of thinking I do. So I had a good ride. Hope you folks enjoyed it.